Hey, what's up guys? It is Tony. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here, I am Tony Estes and I run this channel. Okay. Let me get down to the get down. The other day on Instagram, if you're not following me on Instagram, you can follow me over there. It's at Tony Estes. Um, I did a reel and it was um, three common myths about marriage. So I wanted to qualify what I was telling you. First of all, I myself have been married for 17 years. Some people don't know that. Some people think when I say I'm married, they think I've been married for a couple years. I'm just saying that I have a good amount of time um, into a marriage. And so I feel like I can give, um, shed some light at this point on marriage. Even if you've been married six months, there are certain things that you can share about your six month journey. Um, and um, I think that's important. If you're interested in knowing about those three common myths, stay tuned. So, the first myth that people get caught up in is if you're married and you're not happy every day, something is wrong. That is a lie. There is absolutely nothing that we do every day that we love doing every day. I'm a mother and I love being a mother. But some days I'm like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to check homework. I don't feel like cooking. Like, but that don't mean, okay, forget it. We need to send the kids back to the hospital and just let them keep. That's not what that means. And I think that lots of times we go into situations with bad information or bad ideas and so when you hit a snag a snag that is actually normal you think oh my god oh god oh this ain't gonna work i mean we argued two days in a row this is not gonna work and then you you looking at divorce papers for a reason that is completely unrealistic <laughs> I'm, I'm please. I'm not talking about verbal abuse, mental abuse, physical abuse. I ain't talking about none of that. Take those off the table. That is something completely different that needs to be handled by somebody that know what they're talking about. That ain't never been my story. I don't know anything about that. I do know that, you know, of all the things God wants for us, I don't think that you get knocked upside your head by another human is one of them. That's just me though, okay? Um... And I say that respectfully, but I'm talking about simple disagreements. D disagreements are not, you're going to disagree with your mama sometime. You ain't going to say, forget it. I don't want no mama no more like that. <laughs> that's not how it works. So just think about these things as you're in marriage, as you're single, thinking about getting married, going, ah, cause I, you know, I can't take, if you think, you know what I'm saying? Like think about all of those things. It's, 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 it's give and take. It's what makes marriage great i freaking love being married i love being married um, number two you hear this thing this this saying marriage should be 50 50. you even sometimes hear that marriage should be 100 100. although a very cute concept it's not real everybody is going to be giving a little more or a little less at any given point. You have marriages that are smooth sailing and working and doing well. And just say somebody gets sick. Are you going to be looking up your, looking upside your spouse's head because you're not pulling your weight? No, you got to give a little bit more, dog. That's just what it is. And there are, just like everything else in life, there are seasons. So my husband is out building a business. I am home building businesses and helping him with his and trying to do the kids and you know what I mean and it all depends on how you look at it because my husband works his hind parts off sometimes you know it's a little question because he do a lot of golf and you know whatever but we ain't gonna talk about that anyway um he works his butt off right well I work my butt off too and it would seem like I work harder maybe because I'm at home I'm building a business. I'm doing everything that I do. Plus, I, you know what I mean? I'm the go-to for the kids. I go to the school. I talk to the teachers. I do all the, mostly the extracurricular activities on the drop-off and stuff because he's building a business. I can't want a successful marriage slash successful husband if I'm 
whining all the time about, well, I need you to, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm feeling like it's not 50-50. Like, I got to pick a struggle. Like, I got to pick which one I want. I'm not saying, because he doesn't abandon me. He's very much so involved. But the way our situation is set up now is he's building his business and I'm building in another area. And that looks different for different people. But there's waves. So at some point, he will be doing more of the stuff and I will be out more. And so it feels different. So the 50-50 thing, although a cute concept, is just not realistic. But that doesn't mean you don't have a good marriage because we're not doing one green bean over here and one for you. One for you and one for me. Just because we're not doing that doesn't mean that it's not a good, whole and happy and healthy marriage. So know that as you're going into marriage or if you're already in a marriage and you're a little frustrated, know that there's waves. Is this now, but it'll be something different soon. Okay. Number three, if you haven't heard anything else on this list, you have heard the term happy wife, happy life. That ain't it, dog. That ain't it. And it just, I mean, it sounds good i guess not really not really um it it's it's unfair for me to be happy all the time and i get everything i want and you know what i'm saying whatever and then my husband is having to just sacrifice okay she happy it doesn't matter if i'm miserable that might start off cute for a little bit but after a while it's a recipe for disaster like because he's gonna get his happy some kind of way i need him to be getting his happy here not over there, whatever that means. You know what I'm saying? Um, that doesn't always mean an extra person, but I just think that, you know, first of all, you have to be happy on your own, right? And uh, nobody's gonna make you happy, but you wanna contribute to each other's happiness. If you're the only person happy and he's just here to be miserable or she's just here to be miserable, that, that ain't no fun. I can just could be single for that. You know what I mean? So I feel like that should be changed up a little bit. Um, you know, if you're a wife, give a little bit. To, now, you know, my husband is one. If you give him an inch, he'll take a few seconds. Yeah, sure. Go, go. He gonna golf. 36 holes instead of 18. You know what I mean? So, you know, you got to do it in a way that makes the both of you happier that you can compromise with. But try to make each other happy. If both of you are going out of your way to make the other person happy, everybody's happy. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's just the natural way of things and learn each other's love languages and yada 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 and that's another video but I just really wanted to come on and qualify what I said in my reels because it was a short video and it and it and it did hit on some points but I wanted y'all to know like the details because marriage is um it's amazing and it's work it's work it's work that I love marriage. and being in a whole family is important not saying that you know, like people, single parents and people turn out productive citizens every day. But it is me and my husband's goal to, um, you know, bring our kids up in a house with both of us. Right. If any way possible. I mean, you know, you got people that stand in the house and they at each other's throats every day. You don't want that. But yeah, those are it. Those are three myths. So if you're thinking about getting married or if you're already married, put some thought to that. Because if you're thinking about getting married and you're thinking, nah, because I didn't argue, Joker, you probably arguing with the dude you with right now. And y'all know, it's, certain stuff is just, life just be life and sometimes, okay? And it's not, we expect these unrealistic things when we get married and we stop ourselves for something that don't even make sense, right? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, comment below. Um, go follow me on Instagram. I would love to add, add you to the conversation over on Instagram. And uh, yeah, be great. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.